Hey Dax, thanks so much for meeting with me today to talk about some of your experiences a few years ago attending the junior faculty development workshops. Thanks for having me today. <laughs> I was hoping to ask you a few questions um, so we could have a bit of a conversation about it. So the first question is, why did you attend the junior faculty development workshops? Good question. I think there's three main reasons I attended. One was to kind of learn about the process of applying for tenure, which is like a prominent feature in your early career. Uh, second was to network with other people that were at the workshops. And last but not least was to get a free lunch at those workshops. Which sadly does not happen as much with <laughs> Zoom workshops, but true, yeah. you can have good home cooked food at home. This is true. <laughs> So how did the workshops support you in your career as a faculty member? I think they were very helpful in terms of knowing what the expectations were for the faculty evaluation committee or the FEC in terms of what's expected of us, what kind of things you had to keep track of and what, how they evaluate us. So learning that early on was very helpful for me. Great. What do you think your biggest takeaway was from attending these workshops? My biggest takeaway was probably to keep track of everything and to start early. Don't procrastinate in terms of this stuff. So what kind of topics are covered in these junior faculty workshops? So there's things, uh, topics about each of the different academic pillars. So um, there's some topics about research and uh, they have speakers in talking about how to apply for research grants uh, locally and beyond that in terms of getting ethics and applying for research approvals. Um, and there, was, uh, there were topics about education, like teaching techniques and also educational scholarship. There's some stuff about mentoring as well. And then there's a little bit about administration in some of the topics as well. Great, so a real variety of things over time. That's right. So why do you think these workshops are important for junior faculty to attend? I think they're super important in terms of all the, those academic things in terms of the promotion, but also in terms of networking. So I found it very useful to like meet colleagues that were, that were at the same stage as me to like share advice and tips and tricks about um, like the, the whole tenure process, but also like about getting to know the hospital because I was kind of new to Edmonton as well. And also it was helpful to have to meet some of the more senior faculty who are doing the workshops because they're a smaller setting. So you got to ask them direct questions as well. Great. So what would you say to someone who says they don't have time or they'll figure it out on their own? I think that's probably a bad plan because <laughs> uh, you can look at the, the guidelines yourself for the FEC in terms of the promotion, but it really helps to like um, go there and talk to people about it and figure out exactly what's expected. That's kind of beyond the, the actual guidelines on paper. So I, I feel like it's very beneficial to do that and to start early with all this stuff. That's great. Well, thanks, Dax. You, um, well, it worked for you. You were successful in your promotion um, a few years ago, and now you're successfully helping colleagues with it um, as they move through the process as well. So thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me today and talk about your experiences. And I hope that those junior faculty out there will take your advice and join us at the faculty development workshops. Thanks so much, Dax. Thank you very much, Sarah.